Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be a brand new draft. We're going to be taking part in the MPL Majors and we did get promoted from the MPL Minors. So I am really grateful to Greg, Rogue, all the admins that considered me. This was a really interesting draft. It's going to be a really fun time. We're going to have a really um interesting set of rules going on here. So like the MPL Miners, there are going to be opportunities to add points to our draft as the season goes on with on-time uploads and that sort of thing. But for this as well, we're going to be staggering our uploads throughout the week. So instead of dumping all the battles on one designated day, each day during the week is going to be given to one particular match. And ideally that match is going to be promoted and we can get some kind of hype going around all those individual matches. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. And our match for week one is going to be on Wednesday if I'm not mistaken this is probably gonna go out on Tuesday so the day after this comes out there will be our week one battle with this team I'm actually gonna record that right after this is being recorded but now on to the draft itself so I'm gonna try to do something different here because I know a lot of people have draft analyses and they end up going for like half an hour and it's just not easy to watch so I'm gonna try to do all of my picks in chunks so I'm gonna do it in chunks of three picks a piece and my draft does have 11 mons most of them do but um we're just gonna take the last two picks as a, as a batch of two so we're gonna talk about all of these in chunks now this I did do this a little bit awkwardly because I do have a little bit of a semi wheel pick I ended up with the second to last pick which gave me so much anxiety because I didn't even really feel like I was able to put a plan together because I was just waiting two dang rounds before uh, any picks came back to me and then of course I got to pick twice but it's still not really a way that I like to be able to pick even just trying to hope that something would fall to me in the first round was really anxiety inducing this is a draft that does allow a few ubers as well so like the for context the first three picks I believe were Tapu Lele Ash Greninja and uh, Tapu Koko so that's the kind of draft that we're working with and ultimately again I had so much anxiety as to what was going to drop to me in the second to last draft position but what ended up dropping was Mega Latios now uh, Mega Latios is not allowed so Mega Latios is the only one allowed and I have run a Mega Latios in the past I don't know I do like it a lot uh, clearly but I think Mega Latios is always going to be my preferred one just because of its dragon dancing capabilities right so even megalodios has a base 130 physical attack stat with a decent move pool and after a dragon dance it can just do so much work right every time i go into a match with a megalodios i always think to myself man it really would have been fantastic if i could have gotten a dragon dance up in this situation so um i am really happy to have megalodios especially again with such a bad draft position i don't want to call it a bad draft position this is a really awkward and anxiety inducing draft position for me we do get the michael Adios first and we do get a bit of a semi pick a semi wheel pick again a situation where the draft board is looking awkward and a lot of my picks are going to seem like they're too early i totally agree if you think that the thing is i have to wait an entirely like two rounds for it to come back to me so a lot of my picks are going to feel too early for that reason but i felt like i had to get what i needed in the roles that, that they fulfilled them right and in general i felt like a fantastic pairing with a mega Latios is scissor right so this thing can kind of deal with dark types decently well uh, it does have priority bullet punch that can hit like a truck and just overall i think these two really work well together i think uh scissor is a good steel type i mean there's a reason why uh steels and dragons work really well together if you have a steel type that can eat up ice hits then it's going to help it out defensively and if you have a dragon that can eat up fire hits then it's going to help that out defensively right there's a reason these two work so well together and i just feel like these two are two that um in general work really well together i feel pretty com comfortable with scissor um i feel like i have a decent grasp on how to use a scissor um i like it just in general and i thought that that was going to be my best combo for that um first wheel pick and then again i had to wait a lot of time for it to come back to me and again this is where i got some a lot of anxiety because i didn't know um what opportunities there would be to get a good water type or a good fairy type so i got Primarina. now Primarina is a mon that i do like a heck of a lot i've used it a lot and um people like josh in vivid color he does say that i do like it a little bit too much but um i just think it does a lot of things that i needed to do right and especially in the situation 
with the scissor and the Latios. I think, first of all, I didn't even intend to, but I did end up getting a, fr a Fairy Dragon Seal Core in my first three picks. So I got all three of them together in my first three picks. I like this combination. I like this combination. Latios has a decent amount of offensive pressure. Scissor can be a physically defensive wall. Premarine can be a specially offensive wall, defensive wall. And all of them hit really, really hard. I really do think that they work well together. I get it if you say that, that a lot of these are too early, but I felt like I did what I had to do. But again, we are not another semi wheel so we can move on straight away to the next chunk of picks uh i ended up getting my dawn fan on this semi wheel because um i was genuinely concerned at this point that um i don't have a rocker and it's going to be uh, round four and again whatever rockers are available on, on the board right now might not be available once two whole rounds go by and it gets all the way back to me so i felt like i had to pick something up right the heck now and i had to figure something out um i could be comfortable with right so I really do like Don Fan. Don Fan is so so good. So right, um, one of my favorite things to do with Don Fan is to build it like especially defensively, and it just catches so many people off guard. Right, they think that they can deal with Don Fan semi easily, and then Don Fan can hit so hard back. Right, even just knocking certain mons off, even just rapid spinning, getting a big earthquake off, all these things that Don Fan does really really well. Rapid spin and stealth rocks. Even that, if that's all that it does every dang week. I wouldn't mind you too much. Again, this was a pick that I felt was really necessary at this point, especially when uh, I would just have to wait so long for it to get back to me. Um, I'll, that's going to really, like I said, govern a lot of my decision making with a lot of my picks. But uh, I felt like this was a really good pick for the moment. I did spend my first three picks getting that real typing core locked down. And at this point, I have to look into rockers and stuff like that. So this is where entry hazards are going to be super important. And... I think Don Fan is a great pick for what I could get in this moment. And then again, I waited an entire two rounds for it to get all the way back to me. And uh, I ended up getting a Galvantula Darmanitan combination. Now, uh, Galvantula, I felt like I really needed a good um, electric type. I felt like this gave me some decent options in terms of um, entry hazards, especially with my Dawn Fan, which can rapid spin. I felt like this would be a good opportunity to at least getting my opponents thinking about entry hazards and webs and even just to force them on to run removal one week when it normally wouldn't. I feel like that's going to be super valuable. So I felt like uh, Galvangelo was going to be a really good, solid pick for me. Um, I I think at this point I could have gotten something like Jolteon, some more offensive, some more speed. But um, I felt like Galvantula was a more balanced pick. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. But I think it really gets a whole lot better with my uh, semi-wheel pick with Darmanitan, right? So Darmanitan under webs, I think, is a really scary option. And uh, this was a moment where I've already talked a whole lot about it personally. But I feel like I am very bad at drafting fire types. I never find a good fire type that I really feel invested in. And I really feel like I uh, actively seek out draft in draft out every fire type that i ever draft is is something like well it's here and i need a fire type at this point so i might as well pick it up and i've never used a darmanitan before i hope that i really like it but um darmanitan just has monstrous attack stats boosted by sheer force so things like flare blitz rock slide all those types of moves are gonna hit so much harder and i'm just excited about uh a mon like darmanitan sheer force life for probably most weeks probably also um scarf most weeks but if i can get those webs up then sheer force life orb darmanitan i think is really going to do some work and even just things like scarf u-turn i think um just gives me so many options i can do so so many things with um this overall combination of picks i do feel like again my draft does is kind of looking like a mess right now i think uh it's a lot of good pieces but they don't really fit that well together i do like certain combinations I, I think I've, I feel like I'm giving my opponents a lot of things to think about in building, which is going to be a lot of fun, but uh, right now, I just feel like I'm all over the place. Like I said, thinking about what I should pick that are not going to get back to me in, in two rounds time was really anxiety inducing, but uh, with that, I think we should get into the next wheel pick. And uh, I end up getting Decidueye and Miltank together. Now, uh, I didn't expect to get Miltank, but um, Miltank in this situation, I felt was... A really really solid option for me right we do have sap sip but we can protect the scissor a little bit with thick fat overall it sets up rocks it uh, can be 
built super defensively, right? So this, so, right, so like a max physically defensive mill tank is an absolute monster, right? And if you just run some calcs over something that you think is a breaker against a mill tank, especially if it gets boosted by uh, a sap zipper or thick bat or anything like that, it is an absolute monster with milk drink, with heal bell, that kind of cleric, um, I believe wish as well. But uh, can just do so many, so many things. I've always wanted to use a mill tank, but uh, I feel like I always just go for it just a little bit too late and it always gets picked right in front of me. Uh, like in the APA, the first draft, I really wanted mill tank and I think it got picked right ahead of me, but it's always some of the best tier five value and here it's nine points, but uh, still, I think it's fantastic value for what it is. And at this point, I kind of have to look into my value picks because I am spending points consistently and uh, I am concerned about burning out on points. So I'm trying to do what I can in that department as well. But I haven't even spoken about Decidueye, which on its own is fantastic, right? So Decidueye is going to be one of the best uh, counters to, to ground types that I can think of. And even though I don't have a whole lot of ground weaknesses, I do have an immunity. And even my electric type isn't going to be uh doing that bad against ground types in general i think that uh even against things like zygarde um these these two picks in general are going to be a huge zygarde killer right because a physically defensive milton can take hits from zygarde extremely well and uh decidueye is just going to sit in front of it and roost unless it crunches but even then we can play around as best we can i think these are some really solid defensive picks that are uh, going to work really really well to, uh next to each other and then again i waited a whole while for it to come back to me and i'm getting really really concerned about my speed right so i feel like i've done a good job of building a really fat team a really deceptively hard hitting team a lot of bulky offense in general but i felt like i really needed some speed i've ended up picking up the noivern noivern i believe off the top of my head is one is 123 speed um does break uh tornadoes speed for ninja speed uh it's a really important speed for me to hit i think and noivern is really really good it just uh has a lot of coverage options i was i was also looking into aerodactyl at this point um as just a fast haunter uh aerodactyl would give me an extra rocker for whatever that's worth but and also i, I really wanted something that could maybe switch into um a fire hitter too i thought that aerodactyl was going to be that answer but actually noivern is deceptively bulky right uh if you look at the stats uh, it's actually slightly bulkier than Aerodactyl and also resists fire hits, so it can switch into those roost uh, off some damage and things like that. I really do like it on this team. It gives me some huge, huge um, speed and Z move potential. So uh, this will be one of my Z mons. Spoiler alert! But uh, I really do like this thing as a Z mon. Uh, scarfed air slashes, it's hurricanes are feeling nuts. Uh, dropping dracos it can do a lot of things um frisk even just getting information through frisk uh infiltrator to to kind of get through subs and even if i don't run infiltrator i could still run specs boom burst or something to that effect i don't know i think noivern's really cool i've used it once before and um it doesn't always have the best matchups but the matchups where it can do things it does remarkably well i think but now uh we're still on a semi wheel but uh it, I'm gonna get to the final two picks and along with my Noivern I really I guess wanted to solve my speed issue right the heck now and I ended up getting with the Alolan Persian again um another switch into physical hits I think and uh I've seen other people use it I've looked at its stats myself uh, after my first week of using it and uh it is a little bit underwhelming stats wise but I've seen other people use it and I think I have a feel for how it kind of maneuvers around and overall i really think i'm gonna like it obviously it can just parting shot in and out it can knock things off it can uh be a nuisance and think and it can take physical hits it can pivot in and out and uh parting shot i think is going to be super super valuable i just think there's going to be a solid um pivoting mon and some solid speed and just again even if even if this thing just takes hits and knocks a bunch of things off, maybe because a toxic offer too, I think it's going to be very, very worth it in the end. And for my final pick, uh, I had one single point left in my draft, and I ended up going with Carbank. Gives me another rocker. Uh, it's deceptively strong. I mean, I feel like it can 
do a little bit more than you would expect with a good moon blast uh i don't know cuss that beer explosion for sure is, is is a possibility i don't think i have too bad of a steel weakness right now so i don't think there's any real incentive for people to bring steel type coverage against me so i think maybe that this thing could just set up rocks set up screens maybe and um just be on the field longer than it should be you switch into some hits sack off for fodder pivot something to that effect i don't know even if it just switches in and clicks explosion for a free switch out or some or some free switch initiative and damage i think it could do something i would like to promise that it'll come to at least one game i think i, I think that's viable i think at least one game is a promise that i can viably make but i'm not too sure at this point i'm gonna have to take a closer look at some matchups but overall i think carbank do some things in at least one match right like if there's a matchup where i don't want to bring don fan for whatever reason i don't know why would i ever not bring don fan and bring carbank instead i don't know i'll figure it out but regardless uh i think that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this was a, a little bit more of an interesting format in which to to do these types of things i hope that this kept me from rambling on too much and i hope that i can keep this relatively short but uh, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, our first week match with this team will be going up tomorrow. So please, please do watch that if you are all interested in any of this. But uh, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Going to be once again out.